um, my second question is related to the prone position. So did you have, did you, did you perform proning for the critically ill patients who are with severe ARDS? And how often did you do, did, did you use that proning position for the patients? Thank you. Hi, this is Yin Juan. Um, I take this question. Uh, I'd like to share with you some of our experience in doing the prone position. Uh, yes, indeed, we had difficulties in doing the prone positions uh, due to the lack of nursing staff. Um, but for the benefit of the patients during our time in Wuhan with uh, uh, COVID-19 patients, we did conduct the prone procedures on quite a few cases both um, mechanical ventilated patients and the non-mechanical ventilated patients. Um, I should say most of the time we got positive response, uh, such as improved oxygenation, more stable breathing, vital signs, or decreased oxygen demanding or decreased agitation levels. And some COVID-19 studies even have shown the decreased mortality as well. When we do the prone position, the utmost care is to make sure the safety uh, of the patients and the staff as well. Concerning the patient's safety, it is crucial to avoid ventilator disconnection, uh, you know, the tubing staff, uh, skin injuries uh, like pressure injury and facial edema. And uh, sometimes, you know, deteriorating vital sign like immediate reduction in oxygen saturation and arrhythmias. Uh, in terms of the safety of staff, uh, the most important thing is to prevent their exposure to virus. Uh, this includes proper equipment of PPE, uh, keeping distance from possible spitting of air secretion. So uh, once we get order, uh, of from ventilation from our physicians, we nurses first check out if there is any contraindications, uh, such as unstable blood pressure, facial or pelvic fracture, uh, spinal injury, or acute bleeding, etc. Secondly, we have to have four to six staff at hand, at least four, you know, two at each side of the bed. Everybody should be very clear about his or her responsibility, such as looking after you know, the tubing, uh, position of each part of the body, uh, monitoring the vital signs, et cetera. Um, in terms of the treatment time, uh, it varies from four hours to eight hours, or even 12 hours, or sometimes even longer. Um, the other thing I want to mention is that the patient should be well sedated if they are on mechanical ventilation. You know, otherwise it is too hard for our nurses and not good for the patients either. So that's my answer. 